so let's take a look at how you can export your GDevelop game into Windows executable. So first thing that we need is we have to install Node.js. So first thing, make sure to install Node.js and then we will have to install Yarn. Okay. Once you install both of them, open your PowerShell or command prompt and make sure to check Node version node double slash version and also yarn double slash version okay if you have both of these installed you can then be able to export your gdevelop game to windows executable so what we can do right now is we'll open one of the existing projects so i'm going to make use of sample project like let's say Asteroid game, right? Let's execute it, and as you can see, it's available here, right? So, right, it does its thing. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll first go to our project's game settings, right? Go to its properties. And here, as you can see, it says at asteroid template. Simply rename this to asteroids. Change this com dot example to com dot asteroids. Add your own author name. Okay. Or if you want, you can simply say game develop. Okay. So G develop. Currently, it is not letting me change the name. Okay, so let's forget that for now. You can change publish name. Let's have G develop over there. Project files. We just want single file. Okay, and leave the rest of the places as it's right. You can also change FPS, but I'm going to keep it to default. Right now, what we can do is click on apply. Right, and then we will create a directory by clicking on this export options and here top three options are for using online service to export your game whereas this advanced one allow you to do that manually so choose the last one windows mac os and linux manual click on this now here you see the path that shows to this desktop folder Okay, you can choose any other folder if you want, then click on package, right? Now it says done, that means we just have to open the folder, right? Okay, so it cannot find the folder, so we'll go and check, okay, it's missing. So what we can do is, we'll simply rename this to something else, asteroid, and as you can see, this user is missing, right? So we'll have to simply copy this and choose folder from desktop, then forward slash asteroid. Now let's package this and it says done. Click open folder. Now you can see we have our directory ready. Now what we have to do here is we have to open windows terminal right and let me minimize everything now here we have to type in yarn then add then dash t electron dash builder okay make sure you are in the game directory top level folder it will install all those packages and once it's done, we will run one more command. Okay, if you have a good internet connection, this will be done a lot quicker. Slower connection may take time up to like 10 or so minutes. Now, next thing we have to type in yarn, then build, sorry, yarn build, then dash W enter 
it says you don't have a license field that's fine totally it will package it for windows and it will send you the done message currently we don't even have icon set for that application which we can do later once we learn that this process works now here you can see done in 37 seconds we can minimize our command prompt now we can go to the folder now here you see you have multiple folders added go to dist folder then here you see the asteroid setup double click on it it should start the installer right and now it will start the game right if you can see this icon on the desktop saying asteroids that means you have managed to create the installer also install the game on your system you can also find it in your recently added applications in windows menu you can also uninstall it if you want but you get the idea how to create windows executable out of your gdevelop project